name is Austin. Six years ago, I suffered a stroke and lost my ability to speak. I have been working hard since then to regain my communication skills. At least 70% of individuals who are disabled of working age are unemployed and we want to address that problem in our local area. And we are looking for the next thing um, for him to start using language to regain it in the community and gaining back some of those relationships and employment and other things that you do every day without thinking. I've been an educator for 17 years. My job is to train students for employment so upon graduation they'll be able to be gainfully employed and be as independent as possible. When they do have a job they're so happy and they come and they talk about what they did and how much their paycheck was. I mean to them that's the best thing in the world because they can be independent. It builds their confidence. People sometimes say that life can throw you a curveball. Well my life it felt like a brick was thrown right at my face because when I was 18 I started losing my vision and there's lots of challenges that I go through every day but when life throws you that brick you have a choice you can either fight or you can give up and I choose to fight so my way of fighting is to create esteemed coffee which is going to be a place where people with visual impairments like mine and other disabilities can work together in a warm welcoming environment. Esteemed coffee will provide and not only employment, but also volunteer opportunities for individuals with various disabilities, for individuals who have communication deficits that are continuing to get speech language therapy. We're gonna carry over that therapy into their work environment. It's called life participation approach to therapy. Employers that do hire people with special needs, they have a special heart. Because they're willing to give people with special needs a chance, they are making it so that it's not a stigma, that, it, that these people deserve to be there just like anybody else. They're making a difference in society. So we have the dream, we have the space, and now all we need is your financial help. If we can raise the funds by the end of 2019 to open this coffee shop in 2020, then we will be able to provide dozens of jobs and volunteer opportunities for people like me with vision impairments, communication deficits, and intellectual and developmental disabilities. This is a win-win for our community.